Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's get this fall season started off right. So for this look I'm using, it's I guess a knockoff for the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I just took the two green shades and mixed them together. One's more of a yellow color so I mixed them together to make it the color green that I wanted and then I'm just using a flat foundation brush and applying it all over my face, neck, and ears. And I didn't put on any kind of foundation. All I did was moisturize and prime. And this stuff did not stain my skin. So... I think I typed in flash palette maybe and that's what I got and it was like 10 bucks or something so after I got that applied to my face I went over it with the brush that I'm using here and buffed it into the skin a little bit better and then I went in with a stargazer eyeshadow that I also got off of eBay and just used that to set everything in place then to do my eyebrows, I took my 120 palette and I went in with the silvery gray shade and just made my brows. Then I looked at pictures of like comic book art and used that to map out where all the lines and stuff are supposed to be on my face. And I drew a single line for my contour area and drew lines for my ears to define them out. And then I went around my whole face. Then I just went in with a smaller detailed brush and I wrinkled my face up and put some lines where they would naturally be anyways and I just did that to give a little bit more um, definition to my face. Now I'm just going to go ahead and contour. It might have been better to do this before I added the black but for me personally, I didn't like the harshness. I know that comic book characters usually do have really harsh lines on their face, but I kind of liked the blended out look a little bit better. And then I think it's pretty typical, or at least to me, most witches have that little dimple in their chin. And I already have a butt chin anyways, so I figured why not go ahead and fill it in and give it a little bit more... And then for my nose, I just, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to look, but I tried to go back in and fix it. And yeah, you can do your nose however you want. Once I got all that done, I just decided to go ahead and line my eyes up with some black eyeshadow. This was just to give me a basic idea of what I wanted to do to my eyes. And then I went in with a light purple shade and applied that all over my eyelid. And then I just took a darker shade of purple and put it on the outer part of my crease. Then I decided to take a glittery purple shadow and put it right in the center of the lid and decided to knock you guys <laughs> over. <laughs> and now I'm just applying a black liquid liner and kind of winging it out but not a whole lot. I used a little bit of mascara 
and then I applied some false lashes. You could probably use more dramatic ones. These were just what I had, so that's what I used. And now I'm just going back in again with a black shadow or gray shadow and defining out all of the features of this witch again. To darken up the eyes a little bit and add a little more definition to them, I'm just going in with the Maybelline Define Line and lining my waterline and tight line. And now using the tip of one of my brushes, I'm dipping it in the darkest green shade of that palette and putting dots all over my face. The I liked the way it looked at first and then it started... Um, like pushing too far down into the product and the dots were getting too big so I switched over to a little pencil brush and that worked out a lot better and at first I started out just trying to line everything up make sure everything was perfect and that got really tedious really quick and by the time it's all said and done, you can't really tell that there wasn't a pattern to it anyways. So I just went ahead and started placing dots everywhere. I went ahead and put it under my eyebrow area, but I did avoid where my eyeshadow was. And don't forget to do your ears and your neck if those parts of your body are going to be showing. And then for the lips, I am going to use a black eyeliner and I'm going to kind of overdraw them just a little bit because I have a pretty big lower lip, but my upper lip is not that big. I don't think that they match up very well. So I'm just going to overline it just a little bit and then go over it with a purple liquid lipstick. And once you get the lipstick on there, I wanted to do some glitter on the lips as well. So I just got a purple glitter and dabbed it over the top of that lipstick before it dried. This again is something that took a few minutes to get it all on there but I really liked the look that it gave to it. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to use a little bit of the white paint from that palette and add a couple of highlights to my lips. Oh. 
I also decided to go ahead and put some purple under my eyes to give it a little extra something and that completes this look you guys thank you so much for watching and I hope that you really enjoyed this video have a great day don't forget to subscribe